Hi guys, Marika here and welcome to another episode on my channel. So I was just thinking this morning and I don't know how you guys manage having snow and temperatures below zero because like really today I am freezing. <laughs> so we're having a maximum temperature of about eight degrees today and like you can see I'm like so warmly dressed with my hoodie and everything because I'm just like really freezing today. So um, for all my colleagues that are in the snowy areas really I take my hats off to you because um, you know eight has been a little bit hectic for me today. Now in this episode I wanted to uh, talk a little bit about building a dream team and how to go about doing that so that everyone is on the same page and everyone is working towards Towards the same goals. In previous videos we talked about HR and the challenges that we have in business, you know, some things that we don't actually get taught in medical school and these are things that I really think is important for us to actually get a grasp of when we're looking at building our own businesses. So there's a few points that I want to raise up for you guys today. Now when you're looking at building a dream team that there's a few points that I feel are the most important things to look at when you're actually in the process of doing this. So the first most important part of building a team and building a business that actually moves in the same direction is that you have to have a clear vision and you have to have everyone bought into that vision. So what I normally suggest and what we have done in the past as well is that you actually have to sit together and build a vision board. It's important that you as the owner have a very clear perspective of what your vision and your plans are for the future. But when you're sitting down and you're actually doing this vision board, you want the input from the staff. You want them to feel like they are a part of building into the business and building into the future of the business. So rather than giving them the answers, you want to have them kind of be a part of the conversation and make them feel like it's their ideas that is actually being implemented into the business strategy to move the business forward. So vision boards can be done in numerous ways. Now, I'm not the most artistic type, so my things are very, very you know, like structured and nicely cut out with straight lines. But it's great if you have someone in your team who can be a little bit artistic and you can actually make this into a nice project, a team project, and you can put pictures and whatever it is that you feel um, really represents it, what, what it is that your business um, is all about. So let me give you an example from my business. So the vision of my business is to humbly serve every person that walks through the door. Whatever that looks like and however that plays out, the most important thing is that we are there for them. We are there to help and serve them. And they need to feel like that is the most important thing for us um, on uh, when they actually walk through the door. And it's very imperative that every person in the team understands this fact because that is the foundation of which my business is built on. From there, how it looks like is very flowing. It's very active and it's, it differs you know, from team to team. Now you want the team to be involved. You want them to, to, to give you suggestions on how to go about doing this, how to implement these things. And um, what they see is their role in actually making this happen going forward. So what's also very important in vision board building is not just the vision of the business and the future of the business, but the future and the vision of every individual that is part of that team. Because every person has got their own um, dreams and their own aspirations and you want to try and incorporate that into your business because then you will have happy and growthful staff. And when you can do that, things actually move and they grow and they are fun and people like to come to work and they keep on pushing their own boundaries to perform better because they feel fulfilled in what it is that they are doing. So you want to incorporate individual dreams, individual visions. Do you want to study? Do you want to you know, learn certain aspects of the business that you may be not doing at the moment? Put those things up onto the vision board so that everybody can see it. And remember, not everybody is ambitious. Not everybody has the need to want to grow further, but they have the capability of 
putting structures in place to help other people do so. So you want to find every person's strength and you want to play on that strength to build a happy team. In another video, we're going to talk about personalities and how each personality has got its own character traits and how you as a business owner can use those character traits to the best of, uh, of the business advantage to build into the right areas, put the people in the right places so that you can get the most out of them. But in terms of this video, so that's the first point. We need to build a team vision. Team vision, and remember the team vision is important so that we can move together into the right direction. Then the second part of building a dream team is that everybody needs to know where they fit in. Everybody needs to know what's expected of them, where they should be and what they should be doing. And this goes far beyond their job description. It goes far beyond the fact that they are the receptionist or they are the dentist person. It goes into the areas of, like I said now, their dreams and their vision and the vision of the practice. And when everybody understands what their purpose is, what they are there for, then the systems work a lot better. And no one kind of falls over each other and, oh, this was your job and it wasn't my job. And you don't have that thing happening because people take ownership of what is happening in the business. And then the third thing you want to do is you want to establish a flow. You want to have systems in place from A to Z, making sure that every time they do something, they do it in the same order so that there's a flow in the business uh, management, business paperwork, receiving the patients. And that flow creates kind of joint functioning. It creates smoothness in the practice. It makes patients feel comfortable and at ease and it means that stuff don't go missing. There's no, no gaps in between that allows for mistakes because when things happen the same way every time, the chances of you missing something or something not getting done is a lot slimmer than having things do, uh, happening randomly throughout the day and no one actually knows who's done what and who hasn't done what. So just to summarize, in terms of building a dream team, there's three main aspects. The first thing is a very clear company and individual vision and moving forward into the future together. The second thing is putting the people in the right places, everyone knowing what they are expected of them, knowing where they're supposed to be and what they're supposed to be doing. And the third thing is a practice flow, set protocols in place, make sure things get done in the same order every time to eliminate mistakes creeping in. I've been doing this now for about 12 years in my business and I can promise you guys I learn every day, but there are really these basic concepts that make a huge difference in terms of how your practice uh, operates on a day-to-day -day basis. So please guys, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and subscribe underneath so you don't miss the next video. Also go and have a look at some of the previous ones, especially on HR and staff management and uh, you guys are really gonna enjoy the content. Uh, make sure you don't miss out on it. Give us a thumbs up, share the video around a little bit. And then, uh, yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next video. And then always remember that we are blessed to be a blessing. So go out there and change some lives. But it's very, very important that you actually take the time to do that. <clears throat> My voice is only a little bit funny. Okay. <laughs> um, so that we can actually... But every individual's business is... <clears throat> so please remember if you... <clears throat>